it's Scotland's Year of Stories, so I thought it would be nice to share every month um, one of my favourite stories from around the Cairngorms and from Baynock and Strath's Bay. So January, this month, a winter story. Um, this story was told around King Usi, and so straying a bit into Baynock, um, of an old shepherd who lived in a little bothy in the high hills with his trusty collie dog. So... One stormy evening, the shepherd was sitting quietly by the fire, making himself a new crook, when he heard a scratching at the door. So he gets up to open the door, expecting his collie dog to be returning from the hills, and opens it into nothingness, just darkness and wind. And so he was standing there and he was thinking, well, good day, Um, hurry up, come in. When out of the darkness loomed a great green fairy dog with eyes of fire. And of course, the great green fairy dog walked right past the man into the bothy because he'd been invited in. Now, the shepherd didn't quite know what to do about this situation. It didn't bode well to be sharing a little bothy with a great green fairy dog for the night. Um, it was pretty well known that the bark of a fairy dog is, a, is, an, omen, is an omen for death. Um, so he wasn't best pleased with the situation. So he returned to his chair by the fire and continued making his crook and pondered what to do next. But he noticed that the dog looked pretty exhausted and was pretty thin. So he gave him some dinner and some water that had been taken fresh from the burn. Um, and the dog very happily drank all of the water but didn't touch the food. And so they both settled down peacefully again until a while later there was another scratching at the door. So the shepherd went to open it and this time it was his own dog who, as he came into the bothy and noticed the, the great green fairy dog sleeping by the fire, absolutely flattened himself to the floor in terror. But the great green fairy dog got up and made space on the mat by the fire and the collie very cautiously approached and lay down. And so the three of them passed a very quiet and uneventful night together. At the first few rays of dawn, the great green fairy dog got up and stretched and approached the door. So the shepherd hurried to open it for him. And just before the dog left and bounded out into the, into the, into the moor, the dog put out his tongue, which was very pink and soft, and licked the old man's hand, and then he was off. Several months passed. We're now in the depths of winter, and the shepherd and his and his dog were out herding sheep in particularly icy um, conditions, and they were coming down a very treacherous crag when the dog slipped and trapped his paw between two stones. So the shepherd gathered him up and carried him back to the bothy and put him to rest in front of the fire. Um, now, that night it snowed and it snowed as it only can snow in the high hills of the Cairngorms. And at first light, the shepherd prepared for a day alone herding sheep while his dog was resting by the fire. Of course, the dog wanted to follow, but he couldn't. So the shepherd took up his crook and went out into the harsh weather. And he spent the whole day trying to find and then dig out his sheep who were absolutely buried in these ginormous snowdrifts. But he was old and the weather was really harsh and he was growing extremely tired. And a terrible thought kept going round in his head, which was, if I, if I leave my sheep they'll die. But if I sit down to rest, my dog will starve. And as this thought was going round in his head, there was a sudden blast of icy snow. And there, standing before him, was the great green fairy dog with eyes of fire. And the old man thought, ah, well, you know it's time. I know why you're here. And he waited for the dreaded bark but no bark came. So instead, the dog approached him and again put out his tongue very pink and soft and licked the old man's hand. 
and this time the man felt a, a sudden flow of energy and warmth and life and the dog turned to them all and howled and within seconds there were many pairs of eyes of gold and many great green fairy dogs and between them all they courted them all finding all of the missing sheep um, a dog would stand still next to um, a snowdrift and the shepherd would know that there was a sheep in there that he then had to go and dig out. And it seemed like in no time at all, all the sheep were safely gathered up into a very sheltered quarry, um, being watched by the, you know, being under guard by the great green fairy dogs. And the great green fairy dog approached the shepherd once more and whisked him back to the door of his body within a second, it felt like. And again, the dog put out his tongue and licked the man's hand. And the man wanted to thank the dog and went down to pat the dog's head, but there was only air and a few snowflakes and a gust of wind. <laughs>